In this part of the series, we're going to learn how to create a grabbable sequence. Grabbable sequences are animations that we can control in VR using the grabbing function. In SimLab Composer, go to the File menu and select Import. Select the cabinet file provided with the video and then click Open. In the Import dialog, make sure that the Place in View option is disabled to maintain the object's original location and click OK. Select the door on assembly and move the time slider to frame 60, then rotate the door 120 degrees as if it was open. Do the same with the other door but rotate it to the other side. Now that we have created animation for both sides of the cabinet, we need to create animation sequences for both of them. Select the first door's keyframes and click on the Create Animation Sequence button. Name the sequence and click OK. Select the keyframe for the second door and create a sequence for it as well. Now select the first door and from the Actions menu, select Make Grabbable Sequence. Click on the green mark to confirm the door selection, then select the door one animation sequence to attach it to the object. Leave the grab helper's value at 1 since it usually fits the scale of the object, then click on the green mark. Follow the same steps to attach the second animation sequence to the other cabinet's door as a grabbable sequence. Run the VR experience. Press H on the keyboard if you're in desktop mode to reveal the grabbing hand or the grab button if you're using a VR headset. Use the mouse scroll to extend the hand's reach and retract it. Once the hand intersects with the grabbable object, the object will be highlighted. When it is, hold the left click to grab it, then move the mouse to move it. Unlike regular animation sequences, a grabbable sequence allows the user to stop and start the animation whenever he needs manually. They're more engaging than the regular sequences and are perfect for animating mechanical parts in a VR experience.